Hey there, it's Cam from Great Plains, and this is the 2013 Gulfstream Conquest camper trailer. So we're at the front, so we'll start with the bad. I had mentioned that there was a pretty good amount of denting and such on the front. Looks, again, pretty common with stone chips and such from travel. Uh, thankfully, the bottom half here uh, was protected with the diamond plate steel, which kept it from chewing up too much. Uh, you've got the two propane tanks ready to roll. Recently, the front jack uh, was replaced here. I guess the last one was just seen better days. Uh, battery is sealed up in the box, but that is brand new and just replaced by us. Coming down the side, we've got a couple of storage bins. As you can see here, this one passes right through and also carries underneath the bed. The awning, as I had said, is in great shape. It's a little dirty, but it has no rips, no tears, no holes, and operates totally fine. I'd show you that, but it's a two-hand job, unfortunately. Very nice patio door. Screens are all in great shape. Nothing's been pushed on or beat on by animals or kids. Inside the camper, I had mentioned the mattress had been upgraded. You'll notice down here it overhangs the bed a little bit. Now, that's because it's bigger than the mattress that came with the camper. But underneath, you've got lots of space. And again, you can see just how far the upgraded mattress overhangs. Uh, now this will be much nicer for sleeping, there's no doubting that. Uh, coming off to the side here, you've got your dinette as well as your leather couch. Now the leather couch also seconds as a jackknife bed where it will fold up and lay flat as such. And of course these throw pillows are removable. The dinette is the upgraded style, so your table is actually fixed with the straight poles versus the collapsible legs. Now those poles can be removed, and the tabletop will rest right here, and then it will allow you to make a completely flat, flat area for an additional sleeping space. The slide out is located on this side and incorporates the couch and table. Uh, as I also mentioned, the sink is located outside of the bathroom, which is kind of a nice feature. And then inside of the washroom, got your power exhaust fan, skylight, shower, and of course the little bathtub, toilet. Moving off to the side here, you've got your two bunks. So the bottom bunk is good for one to two people. Up top, I would say that's just good for one person. And then down the kitchen side. So down the kitchen side, you've got a full size fridge as well as freezer, all of which is in great shape. Really does not look like it was used very much at all. Nice pantry area. And below that is your uh, breaker box. Microwave, range hood, as well as your gas stove. Uh, also another appliance that really does not look like it was used very many times. Um, outside of that, you've got a number of drawers. Um, everything is very clean. I, I haven't spotted any interior damage to report just yet. Right here is your radio. There are some speakers built into the roof here between the air conditioning unit. And inside of this cabinet, I'm gonna show you this here. Maybe you can do a screenshot of that, but this is gonna answer all of your questions about the weight of the trailer and the length and all of those uh, things. And then we're back at the door.
So carrying around the outside, the wheels and tires are in great condition. All of the windows are uh, tinted window, so that's going to help keep you a little bit cooler in the summer, as well as uh, give you some privacy. And one of the features I really like about this one, which they only started doing right around this generation, is you'll notice the roof. It's curved versus flat. Um, for getting rid of moisture and such and water, I'm sure you can imagine the benefits there. Spare tire, also in great condition. And then uh, a very long, long, long umbilical cord for plugging in for power. Now this also comes with an extension cord as well as the uh, adapter you need to plug it into a smaller 110 volt outlet. Uh, down here is where you're gonna empty your tanks. Now, everything there seems to be in great shape. Uh, again, likely from the lack of use. Uh, outdoor shower. And then uh, the slide protruding on the one side. All right, so that is the 2013 camper trailer. Uh, please let me know of any more questions. Hopefully my video was uh, detailed enough. Talk to you soon.